I hope you guys are all doing well. I turned off the music already so that uh, OBS wouldn't have a mild freak out, even a moderate freak out. Let's continue on with our violence tempered. I believe it hasn't been that long since I played last. Mm, couple weeks, maybe? But uh, if I remember right, last time our one of our big issues was uh... <laughs> there's a lot of heat at the crack house right now and a moderate amount of heat at McCain fried chicken. Well, hi everybody. People are uh... yeah. So we did manage to. Uh set up the Sawyer Street crack house as a safe house. However, uh, it's pretty red hot right now. <laughs> yeah. A lot of crack at the heat house, possibly. There's a lot of heat at the crack house. It's, just, it's almost as though somebody had lit a spoon there. So, McCain Fried Chicken. That's where uh, everybody is. So, maybe what I want to do for a little while... Let's see, how much money do we have? 27 grand. We could probably go through a month of uh, allowing things to be calm. Let me double check one thing though. I am pretty sure that we have a sleeper at the police station. Yes. A janitor who is sleeping at the police station. So, okay. I'm thinking in theory that person ought to be able to Let's see, so yes, we came from chicken. Wait, I want to go to the next location. Not homeless shelter. Cane fried chicken. Um, is there anything that we need in this location other than more food? No, we just need more food. We can install and conceal an illegal anti aircraft gun on the roof for 200 grand. We don't have that. It's true, our money is a palindrome. <laughs> our money is a wonderland. Okay, so. That's interesting. I thought we had more than ten people. I only have ten active liberals. Well, that's okay. Till we buy food. Well, until we wait a day. Irene McLeod, what is it that you're teaching everybody? Are you teaching everybody your mild seduction skills? Yeah, I think that's it. And uh, I don't know that anybody can be really... Guess you are learning stealth, which you didn't have before. But you have a stealth score of seven now. That's plenty. I'm gonna double check what it is I thought Irene McLeod was teaching everybody, but it's probably just okay for her to I don't know solicit donations or do something else good for a little while. Just let the heat cool down to like I don't know ten. I have a very low tolerance for heat, you guys. Just strange living in the south, but there you go. Ari McLeod, you're teaching infiltration, computer security, stealth disguise, tailoring, seduction, psychology, driving. I'm familiar with where the South is, Grimmett. <laughs> I would think as a history scholar, you might be familiar with where the South is as well. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to do any of that right now. You've done 
plenty. Why don't you become more persuasive? Because you can. So why don't you just go out there and solicit donations? My state does count. My state used not to count because it was a district that doesn't have any senators or voting members of Congress. Let's hang out. Right, you want to fight for the liberal cause. Uh, Uh oh, CCS members pour out of the truck and shoot in the front doors. Okay. I don't have a chance to equip. So you guys are going to have to go out there with your 9mm semis and uh, just take care of business handgun styles. Now, if I remember correctly, some of your. Uh, some of your friends should all be armed with uh, assault rifles to help you. They've all been learning a little bit about combat, so they hopefully won't shoot any of you. But uh, this is the price of being right, a CCS invasion. It's fine. Everything is... Uh, everything is as well set up as it's going to be for this. I'm about to engage conservative forces in battle. I'll find myself in a liberal safe house, and it will be sworn with conservative units. The liberal crime squad will be located far from the entrance to the safe house. It is your task to bring your squad out to safety or fight off the conservatives within the perimeter. Either way you choose, any equipment from the safe house, which isn't held by a liberal, will be scattered around the compound. Save what you can. You might notice your squad has filled out to six members of anywhere available. If you have a larger pool of liberals, they will be traveling behind the squad. Hey, Ald. There's a new button, Reorganize, which reflects this. Oh, my keyboard has an R button now. Squad members in the back with firearms can provide cover fire. If you have at least six people total, then six must be in squad. If you have less than six, then they all must. Your security cameras will let you see units on the map. Your traps will harass the enemy, but not the squad. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's grab this in case it's useful. Useful Lutzel. Kind of an odd arrangement up here, but that's all right. Let's fight these guys. That hick tumbled out of the way. Hit the hick's body, he dies in a heap. Some of these hicks are pretty, uh, pretty leet. There you go, Valerie Boyd shooting with an M16. Lori Delaney shooting with an M16, blowing the telemarketer's head apart. Alright. We killed a redneck, everybody. Killed another redneck. What crease they used to fry the chicken with. Nicely done, Hagger. Nicely done, Larissa. The conservatives have shrunk back under the power of our liberal convictions. Damn right they have. Unfortunately, I will never truly be safe from this filth until the liberal agenda is realized. Oh man, everybody's clothes are bloodied. Lame. 
I mean, I suppose I could still have them go out there and uh, solicit for uh, donations in uh, blood-covered suits. See how many people uh, how many people are down with their message. Actually, before I do that, I want to check what the heat is looking like. Mm, the heat's only getting hotter. This could be a real problem. Could be a real problem. All we did was kill a bunch of people that came to our house. Conservatives may not appreciate the irony of attempting to employ castle doctrine. Well, maybe they don't appreciate it, but here it is. Let's see. Do we have enough nice, clean clothes for you guys? I have a second degree, uh, second rate damaged uh, trench coat, but I do. Here, just put on plain clothes. Hagger, you're going to be on laundry duty. Hmm, I also have damaged body armor I might want to be fixing. Here, put on a bloody ninja costume. And you, squad. I want you all to take... You know, Oh, so it's an AK instead. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Okay. I want you all to take assault rifles, just in case anybody comes back. Hacker Bailey cleaned his... Brian Simpson is accosted by police while soliciting donations. Rude. I don't want to kill police officers. I didn't even do anything, you guys. I was just out here soliciting donations. I didn't realize they could hassle you during uh, standard, just legal stuff. I knew that they would ha they would harass you when you uh, were doing like 
weird political protests and uh you know when you're out like dealing drugs if you've got a record they can come for you well hmm I mean, it's one police officer. Fight it. It's Bobo. Looks like I lost that guy. Police killed! A police officer was killed in the line of duty yesterday, according to a spokesperson from the police department. A suspect identified only as a member of the radical political group known as the Liberal Crime Squad is believed to have killed a police officer while they were attempting to perform an arrest. The names of the officers have not been released, pending notification of their families. No! Guys, just... Just don't don't bother us. We're out there soliciting donations. It's, it's totally okay. That's only going to have made our heat get even hotter. Forget it then. I don't want to be out there just killing cops for no reason. I know this is a uh, this is a really bold thing to say, but uh, I don't want to be out there killing cops for no reason. And so, I'll write for the Liberal Guardian. Everybody, write for the Liberal Guardian now. Dear, 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 dear. Right, you, I need to equip with other bloody or damaged clothing now. I have one other bloody ninja costume. Clean that ninja costume. Now that you've done that, I feel like this could be done in a in a simpler way, just like if you could get somebody that was already selected to repair and clean clothing that they might just go ahead and find a dirty piece or damaged piece of clothing and repair it even if they weren't literally equipped with it. Put on a cheap dress and dance for me. Dance for me, Hagger. Alright, cheap suits. Let's get some on. Equip. Get a dirty cheap suit again, or a bloody cheap suit. It is dirtied with blood. What other bloody stuff can we have you fix? We have damaged body armor. It might be nice to get uh, fixed up again. I mean, I have bloodied clothes, but I don't really need bloodied clothes. Yeah, everything else is damaged. Start fixing the body armor. Nope. You almost caught me there. Alright, equip. Get some more damaged army body armor on. 
Oh, he's working to repair it. He didn't quite finish. I guess he only got lucky that one time. You did it! Just out of curiosity, what are things looking like here? The heat's only heating! Heat, heat, heat! Come on! We're, we're, we're not doing anything bad. What if we went on dig community service? Actually, that's an idea. Larissa Montana, what are you doing right now? I mean, what's your story, Larissa Montana? You're an author that has a mild amount of juice, no wanted level. So you could be out there writing. You have a reasonable writing skill since you've been writing for the Liberal Guardian. In theory, you should have a reasonable writing skill because you're a writer. Helping the elderly, local library, anything that is liberal. Why don't you do that? Make things better. You've got a knack for making things better. All right, and uh, Hagger, I need to get you another pair of messed up body armor. Nice done. Nice done, everyone. Nice done. Out of curiosity. There you go. That's let the boil off the kettle a little bit. Just do a nice bit of community service. And the cops will be like, ah, I don't care that these guys have all murdered people. Whatever. They're over there helping the elderly. Public libraries. Anything that is liberal. Face facts, your opinion don't matter. Yeah, these guys are totally great. I mean, they're killing people, but the people they leave behind, they're helping out. So, seems seems perfectly fine. Um, Hagger, let's uh, get you a different set of body armor. You did it! Almost out of damaged body armor to work on. Is it still damaged? Oh, wait. Let's see. Okay, yes, you are. I missed for a minute whether he had actually finished fixing it, and he had not. Hmm. You know what? Um, I feel like shooting a uh, police officer this month, um, just while walking around on the street just the other day. I saw a police officer. I didn't know what to say. So I shot him. It's not good. Um, that probably made people a little bit more sympathetic to the police. So... The Liberal Guardian runs a story featuring police records documenting a police torture case. The major networks and publications take it up and run it for weeks. Congress is acting on legislation. 
protect human rights from torture. Why don't you do it? Yes, let's fight income inequality and protect human rights from torture. That's right, you can't do anything about it, President. Hey, the heat is even going down to the crack house. We've got enough money to uh, sort of sustain ourselves for a little bit, so I am going to continue on this path for at least a little while. Okay, your body armor is still damaged. Especially as, oh, you just repaired it. Okay. I'd also like to see how... Um, Valerie is doing with her uh, her classes. She's learning about seduction, I think. She's learning about seduction. We probably should have somebody learning about dodge. You have a slightly lower dodge score, but a higher maximum dodge. Actually, Alona is the one that needs to be learning dodge. Actually, Alona is the one that needs to be teaching dodge. And she is. Okay. That all makes sense now. I'm going back and relearning everything that I uh, was doing. Just yeah, lining up that yes, teaching fighting. It's a it's a long screen, everybody. If I line up using a checkbook here, yes, teaching fighting. She's doing that. So, uh, Hager, let's put you in some other clothes. What do I want to fix next? Do I want to uh, clean these black leathers? His dark leather armor. So you see this rampage, the conservative crime squad has gone on another rampage. The events took place at the Dawkins Food Bank. Further details are sketchy, but police suggest police sources suggest that the CCS engaged in murder, violence, theft, and breaking and entering. I was about to say, oh, this is in Fort Collins. Like, no, it's in St. Paul. But then there's a separate addition that happened in Fort Collins, I guess. All right, so down to 46. I'm tempted tempted to try and do something about the conservative crime squad. But uh I don't know. Don't know that I can. Because, like, I haven't been told the secret yet that uh, the Snow Gentleman's Club is a, like, conservative gathering spot. But, uh...
Irene, Ruth Ann, Brian, and Alona is in the party. And right now she is the one that is teaching everybody how to dodge. You have a sedu seduction of five. So let's see here, actually. Let's, uh, not next location, sorry. Ah, oh, okay. I need to uh, set up a new squad. Here's hoping that uh, that doesn't crash things, like has happened to me in the past. Um, let's assemble a new squad. Let's just make it just Valerie Boyd. And we shall call this squad Hey Hot Stuff. Hey Hot Stuff is currently attending classes. We may change that. She's in a cheap dress. She's got an M16. Let's uh, equip her with. Let's equip her with a 44 Magnum. Sounds good. She's got a cheap dress. If I had something extra special sexy, I might give it to her. But uh, what I'm going to do right now is see whether or not Valerie Boyd can go out on a mission of seduction. Let's go to the Morning Wonder Latte stand. Oh, and let's uh, real quick also... With a big iron on her hip. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> It only seems right. I'm I'm sending our hooker with a heart of gold down to uh, the latte stand to try and find some dangerous characters to uh, seduce and find out their secrets. And uh, she's gonna have a uh, she's gonna have a magnum strap someplace where it won't show. They can inner thigh maybe. I don't know. Maybe small the back, depending on how the uh, outfit drapes. Anyways, Hagger. Not Larissa Montana. Oh. I guess uh, she moved because she is on her way off to do something, and she's part of a squad. Um, let's equip you. What other damage stuff? Easier to hide. It's better than an M16. I'll give you that. You are absolutely right. Bona bona. Let's uh, get another black leather armor going here. Sure. Valerie Boyd acted with Hey Hot Stuff instead of attending classes. He's a soldier. Soldier might be a member of the conservative crime squad, but uh, cable news anchor or a radio personality. Let's talk to this biker. Let's drop a pickup line. Nice shoes, want to fuck? Stop staring at my feet, you freak. Oh, we got kicked. Boo. Here's another biker. Let's drop a pickup line. Roses are red, violets are blue. All my base, I belong to you.
There's a lot of bikers hanging around here. Say, did we go to did we go to different schools together? Yeah, and tonight we can try different positions together. This biker is apparently biker taker. <laughs> the American badass. Valerie Boyd and Biker make plans for the night. Well, that's what I was after. See ya! Edgar Bailey repairs his dark leather armor. That's right. All your base, your base, base, base. All your base. Alright. Just casually chat. Discuss politics. Yeah. Valerie Boyd has a hot date with Biker Taker, a.k.a. Bert Trafford. <laughs> He's just a regular biker. But, uh... It's a lot of wisdom and not a lot of heart. Let's, uh... Try to get through the evening without spending a penny. Fred Trafford is quite taken with Valerie Boyd's unique life philosophy. Valerie Boyd is slowly warming Bert Trafford's frozen conservative heart. They'll meet again tomorrow. Let's go back to the latte stand. A doctor and a secretary seeing the Birch Trafford biker painter and a lawyer sir doctor hey here's another biker let's drop a pickup line I know I've seen you on the back of a milk carton because you've been missing from my life Conservatives have hearts. Waka waka. That's sick. I can do sick tonight. Valerie Boyd and Biker make plans for tonight. Alright. Hacker Bailey tidies up the safe house. Right, I need to give him something else to fix. Valerie Boyd has dates to manage with Bert Trafford and Hank Montag. Hank Montag, a biker at the University District. Hmm. Try to get through the event without spending a penny. Unique life philosophy. I'm slowly warming Frank Montag's frozen conservative heart. These guys are just regular bikers, though. Bert Trafford is a biker. And he's just a regular biker in the conservative in the university district. He's not anything. Uh, although you can see, we did. Drop his wisdom. It was 11, now it's 9. His heart was at 1, and now it's up to 2. I still don't think this is a guy that we want to try and particularly do anything with, though. And since we've got another guy to be dating right now, I'm just going to break it off. We're trying out the new seduction strats, everybody. And once again, I forgot to give... Uh, Forgot to give Hagger a new Hagger the Haberdasher a new something to clean. Yes, Ald, he's a biker on foot. Biker isn't what you do, it's who you are. I know you might think that's literally uh not the case considering what the word is and what the word means but uh <laughs> it's good practice yeah that's the thing like we are gaining more hmm how much juice do i have i could recruit 3 people that's right, because Valerie, she's wanted for vandalism. She hasn't done anything too bad, but she's done enough to get a little bit of juice going. <sighs> I, mean, I guess I could seduce an elite security or corporate manager, but there is likely to be um, sort of workers for some other 
I'm trying to get inside deets on the home base of the conservative crime squad. And for that, I'm looking for people like bikers, rednecks, good old boys, hicks, um, people who don't have another place that they could consider theoretically their home base. Although, as we're finding out now, a lot of these bikers just consider the university district their home base. So, you know, you may be onto something there. But anyhow, I could recruit some folks. So I'm going to talk to this army veteran about politics. Do you want to hear something disturbing? What? Political favors are bought and sold for campaign contributions, and the voting system enforces two-party dominance. Whatever. Well, fine, then. Let's talk to this elite security. Let's drop a pickup line on him. Fuck me if I'm wrong, but you want to kiss me, right? You're wrong. They make plans for tonight. See ya. Hacker's tidying up the safe house. You continue. Valerie Boyd has dates to manage with Hank Montag and Malcolm O. Time to make Malcolm put on his O face. Seeing Malcolm O. Vigilante at the Desert Eagle Bar and Grill. This is what I was looking for. Though, geez, look at his wisdom score. 17. Has three heart. He is a heartless bastard. But, uh, gonna see whether or not flashing a little cash will, uh, get the ball rolling. Oh, no, things aren't working out. That relationship is over. Um, just to keep our seduction skill on the uh, in increase, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, try and uh, keep the uh, evening going. I'm slowly warming his frozen conservative heart. Alright, now, before I do anything else, Hagger. Let's find something for you to repair here. Here, pair some of these security uniforms. Those could be useful. Back to the latte stand again. So yes, the elite security, as it turns out. Tardy been running around in my thoughts all day. And then stop thinking about it. Come over tonight. They make plans for tonight. Yoink. Hacker Baylor repairs a security uniform. You keep learning stuff. Dwight Piercy. Oh my god, he has a wisdom score of 21 and a heart of 2. This guy is even colder than the last. Let's spend 100 bucks to get the ball rolling. It's over. His heart and wisdom are starting to come closer. I I don't want him to uh Well yeah. They'll meet again tomorrow. And Hagger. Let's go find those security uniforms. Get a damaged one on. I don't know why you insist on repairing these clothes while you're wearing them. It seems like it would be easier if you just set it out in front of you, but you do you, man. Q. 
cannot inject a new heart into the heartless. It's true. Let's go down, down to that latte stand. Regular old security guard. Oh, I guess that that corporate manager might have been a guy. Let's talk to this corporate manager. He's in his 40s. And he's a man. Drop the pickup line. You smell. Let's go take a shower. Nothing works. I can't help it. <laughs> Just have to beat them with an oversized key. Here's another corporate manager. This one's a little younger. Maybe a little more naive. Is it hot in here or is it just you? I'm way out of your leak, scumbag. Pepper spray. Oh man, cookies are done. That sounds great. I mean, I've got Halloween candy. Hot damn, you're built bracka. You're built bracka. Built bracka bracka bracka. Hot damn, you're built like a brick shit house, honey. <laughs> I'll let that one slide. Besides, I like country folk. I like country folk. You're delightful. Hank Montag and Shame Bugby. He's a corporate manager at the AM radio station. Try to get through the evening without spending a penny. Hmm. I think I can get away with one more date before he turns into a mindless love slave, which I kind of don't want. Maybe to be safe, I better just break it off right now. If you have too many people that you're dating at the same time, um, even if you've already established those relationships, there is a chance at any given moment that you will call one of your lovers by the other lover's name and then they'll both be gone. Or at least one of them will be gone. Alright, Hagger. What other damaged clothing do we have for you to fix? One more security uniform. There's a corporate manager. In twenties, let's drop a pickup line on her. Do you have? Uh, do you work for the post office? Because I could have sworn you were checking out my package. Looks like a letter bomb to me. Let me blow it up. They make plans for later tonight. Valerie Boyd has a hot date with Tamara Smith. You're a corporate manager at Corporate HQ. Um, let's try to get through the evening without spending a penny. Tamara Smith is quite taken with Valerie Boyd's unique life philosophy. They'll meet again tomorrow. What other damaged stuff do we have that you could fix? I have a second rate, have some various second rate things. You have enough clothes. Like, yeah, I could get those damaged clothes fixed, but uh, what's the point? Now getting a trench coat, unbloodied and undamaged, might be worthwhile. So let's try that. Now then. Actually, before I do that, let me uh, check. Okay. The heat is broadly subsiding, but it's not going entirely away. I mean... A little bit of community service. That's all that's happening right now. So, you know. Thanks, Bonabona. This is, uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with Liberal Crime Squad, um, you know, it's a, 
It is a political activism simulator of sorts. Uh, you can play this game in a way where you do not commit crimes and still attempt to, uh, you know, essentially turn the world from an arch-conservative political agenda to an elite liberal political agenda. Um, that's the only way it goes. There is no, there is no conservative crime squad. Um, game to go alongside it where you could go the other way around um, not that I'm aware of anyway uh, but okay, back one step let's go downtown and try and a lot of lab techs That's a baker. For a minute I thought it was a biker. There we go. This time the line worked. Roses are red, violets are blue. All my base are belong to you. It's you. Somebody set up us the bomb. Move zig for great justice. And make plans for later tonight. Plans to play zero wing. Valerie Boyd has dates to manage with Tamara Smith and Rosalie Kobayashi. She's a corporate manager at the cable news station. Let's uh try to get through the evening without spending a penny. Oh no, it didn't work out. Um, all right. You're a corporate HQ, so let's again. Oh no, she sees that things aren't working out. Her top skill was seduction. She had a seduction score of four. Interesting. Our seduction score has moved up to six. Was it at six already? Maybe it was already at six. Eh, uh, well. I'm trying to see progress and it's not there. Hey, seduction through. Oh, yeah. It's not going as well as it could. Why don't you just put on um hell, we'll just put on some regular clothes and uh start selling liberal t shirts. Perfect ten and tailoring. Let's get Valerie back out here again. Go to the morning wonder latte stand. I could have talked to that elite security person, but uh gonna say I got a thing for these bikers. Let's play trains. You can sit in my face and I'll chew chew chew. You look like a biter. What's your sign? The one that says open all night. They make plans for tonight. There was an agent there. I was tempted, but also... You can get yourself into trouble by... Uh, going on dates with people who um, are so heartless that they will they'll basically just uh, 
turn around in the middle of a date and start fighting you. Because that can happen. Do you want to hear something disturbing? Homosexuals are people like everyone else, and yet they're treated in this country as if they're deviants fit only for cheap entertainment. Dude, that's like totally bumming me. For more discussion, yoga instructor agrees to come by later tonight. Oh yeah, Bona Bona. Like, uh, it can turn into a combat situation. Alright. Can I lick your forehead? You can lick all my decals off, baby. Luna Soren has pretty low charisma, but very high agility and good strength. We could bump up that charisma with uh, a little bit of ye old juice gathering. So uh, let's chat with you and discuss politics. Valerie Boyd has dates to manage with Charlene Zhu and Sandor James. Sandor James is a vigilante at the Desert Eagle Bar and Grill. Let's spend a hundred bucks to try and get that ball rolling. It just isn't working out. Very corporate manager at Stuart Garment Makers. Well, let's talk to you. Still not working out. The heat's going down. That's comfortable. Let's go down to the Morning Wonder Latte stand one more time. Well, I mean not one more time. I say one more time as though I'm not obviously just going to keep doing this until it works. Or until it becomes very clear that it will never work. Which, it's not clear yet. Look at all of the stimulus spending the LCS is doing. Yeah, I mean, we're uh, getting the ball rolling with all these little bits of $100 at once. Talk to this army vet about politics. Sexism is still pervasive in subtle ways, and women make much less than they deserve for their labor. Oh, my science! We've got to do something! Come by. Let's talk to this uh, corporate manager and drop a big up line on him. I may not be fled, for, <laughs> fled Friendstone. I may not be a fled friendstone. Oh boy. But I can make your bed rock. Goober. You want to hook up tonight? Alright, we're making plans. Let's try the corporate manager in his 40s. Do you have stars on your panties? Because your ass is out of this world. You have to whip out your rocket to get some. Let's do it. You ended up saying one more time more often than Daft Punk. Possible. Gonna celebrate. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I like this guy. He's got good stats. He already knows a little bit of rifle. He's got agility. He's got charisma. Let's uh, spend some money on props. Luna Soren is ready to fight for the liberal cause. Why don't you come aboard? Come to McCain Fried Chicken. You don't get to. Ha 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 ha. Clyde Hess and Derek Rainey. Hmm. Corporate HQ, I'm not especially interested, but, uh... Why don't we try... <laughs> Who am I, Santucci? Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to be Fled Friendstone. <laughs> and yet, that's what happened. Moving in on the loop. Let's uh, try to get through the evening without spending a penny. Well, okay. The plastic factory. It's not working out. Well, fine. Let's activate these liberals. You're learning about fighting? Good. Luna, why don't you, uh. Why don't you go solicit donations? There you go. You'll uh you'll get that persuasion up and you'll make some money in theory. 
let's uh let's look at Luna's whole deal. She has she has an existing amount of stealth. She actually has some street sense. I could make her go out and like sell drugs, but uh, I'm not gonna. She has some stealth. She has some amount of security. I'm tempted to have Valerie Boyd take Lunasaurin out to uh, apartment buildings, try and find people to date, and then break into uh, break into everything. Tempted to do that. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Lunasaurin, welcome to Hey Hot Stuff. Dating and entering? Well, maybe. All right, let's equip you with a forty-four magnum as well. Which one of you is driving this wagon? Valerie, I suppose you ought to be. What are you doing here? A little baby monitor went off. I believe he's just stamping his foot in his sleep, which is the thing he does. There, now Valerie drives the wagon. I wonder if that's the best choice. You have 1.08 driving skill. That is better than Luna. Oh, baby, is that a gun in your... Oh, it is a gun. Okay. Yeah. Actually, back one step, go to the University District. Yeah, the heat is down. 37. Let's see whether or not if we go back to good old Pierre Trudeau Apartments... Whether the heat will go back up again. Hey, Jonesman. Just like a puppy. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to try and find some dates first. Bowery Board. Boyd, talk to this corporate manager and drop a pickup. Your lips look sweet. Can I taste them? Sure, but you can't use your mouth. Oh boy. There's an athlete. Valerie will talk to this athlete. Let's strike up a conversation about politics. Yeah, really. Another corporate manager. So many corporate managers here. You tired? Because you've been running around in my thoughts all day. Let's stop thinking about it. Come on, good night. There we go. Nothing there. Some mild amounts of goodies here and there. Your security skill has gone up. Well, do they know they're managing each other? Oh my gosh. Get. Smartphone get. 
Ooh, let's talk to this black belt. Track up a conversation about politics. Animals are routinely subject to inhumane treatment in labs in this country. That's totally bumming me. And another 44 Magnum. We didn't do anything bad. Why are you looking at us? Nicely done. So, uh, yeah, you need a little more disguise, thanks. Valerie Boyd. Talk to this army veteran about politics. And I think you have four meetings. I don't want you to take any more than that. Now we didn't get to work on our stealth, but that's okay. Gary Blankenship kind of regrets doing this. Well, you're not super charismatic, but uh, you do have agility. Some good health, so we'll just casually talk. I think it's insightful. Uday Nuttles feels something needs to be done. He has a martial arts skill of eight. That would be nice just to have him teach everybody. That's insightful. And Forrest McLaughlin. He's pretty charismatic, so let's discuss politics. Leonard Ross will take a lot of persuading. I'm willing to persuade. Valerie Boyd has dates to manage with Basher Alda and Bronco Teo. Bronco? I didn't know you in the future or alternate reality would turn out to become a corporate manager. Ugh. I didn't know I raised you wrong. Let's see here. Cable news station. Eh. It's not working out. Young genetics. Eh. Oh, hey, you've got a lot of heart, not a lot of wisdom for a Okay. Well, there we go. Let's uh, go back to the University District to Trudeau Apartments. This black belt would also be a pretty cool person to have as part of the team, but uh, I've already got more meetings than she uh, can possibly recruit. So that's kind of a problem. I raised you to be a rock and roll star. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, that lies down just isn't for me. Haunting me now with all these really good uh, potential liberal folks that I just can't afford to uh, to go with. Yoga instructor and a football coach. I love those guys.
All right. And I'm just not finding a lot of potential conservative crime squad members here. So I guess let's just start committing crimes. Okay. We didn't do nothing. Don't look at us. Okay. Um, you have increased your security. Not so much your, well, okay, so now you increased your disguise. Any chance we could, uh, oh, carry blanket ship will take a lot of persuading. Given all the rest of these guys, I think an agility of 11, a strength of 6, and a charisma of 4 is not really doing it for me. So I'm going to break off the meetings with you. You are ready to fight for the liberal cause. A strength of 10, his, your charisma is still low with 4, but you have a martial arts skill of 8. I would like to be able to have my guys learn martial arts for, you know, locations that they can't take guns. Kung Fu Bobo. That's right. Join the LCS. Forrest McLaughlin is ready to fight for the liberal cause. Yeah, why don't you join? You're interested in learning more. If I want to uh, have you come along, I'm going to need to figure out uh, some promotions. You have a hot date with Bashar Alda. Okay. He's going to become my mindless love slave if I uh, don't break it off here, unfortunately. So, um, I don't really gain anything by having a sleeper in young genetics. So, I will go ahead and break it off. Sad but true. Let's review our assets. Let's press U to promote liberals. Right now, a lot of people under... Oh yeah, shoot. How many people does Lori Delaney have under her uh, purview here? She can have 11 max. Genetics, yeah. Sounds about right. Enlightened liberals follow anyone. Seduced liberals only follow their lover. Or follow only their lover. You guys understand what I'm trying to say here. All right, let's uh, promote Lunasaurum. There you go. Oh yeah, let me uh, review these new recruits.
You have a small amount of dodge, rifle, and persuasion already just because you're here. Nice. Or you've been here for a day. Excuse me. I want to add Forrest McLaughlin to the no because he doesn't have any stealth yet somebody needs to teach stealth How much money do we have? We have a reasonable amount of money. I'm going to activate Liberals. I'm going to activate Uday here. So he has a martial arts score of 8. He's going to teach people to fight. B. Lori, what are you teaching everybody right now? Persuasion, Law, Street Sense, Science, Religion, Music, Art. I am going to go ahead and have you switch it up to infiltration. Now then, let us go back and add Forrest McLaughlin to the squad. And go downtown again to the... Well, no, let's not go downtown in the early round. Got to go back to the apartments, because that's how we roll. Looking for any kind of... Now a corporate manager might work. Valerie, talk to this corporate manager. You don't sweat much for a fat chick. You're a pig. I keep throwing all these yoga instructors and black belts and army veterans and athletes at me. All these really great uh, potential recruits. Here's another corporate manager. There we go. Post office, check my package. Let's blow it up. Let's talk to this bartender. Maybe this arch conservative bartender is a bartender at a uh, top secret conservative uh, hangout. Let's drop a pickup line on him. Do you have stars in your panties? You have to whip out your rocket to get some. I didn't do anything. Come on. Poor Forrest hasn't even gotten any juice yet. Congratulations, you got juiced. I 
don't think with uh, a zero stealth score he will actually learn anything. Leonard Ross thinks something needs to be done. You're right, Leonard. Let's uh, discuss politics. Sherman Kwan and Rich Arafat. Okay. Oh no, Valerie Boyd mixes up the names of Sherman Kwan and Rich Arafat. Things go downhill fast. Valerie Boyd escapes through the bathroom window. There you go. CCS Rampage. Okay, you have learned a modicum of martial arts, stealth, driving, dodge, tailoring, and rifle. Good, those are the skills I want you to have, Forrest. Let's go forth once again. Take a quick look down here. Hmm, the heat's sort of sitting in the mid-30s. It's not going away, going away. But uh, that's... Low enough to be mostly harmless. Police officers, bakers, art critics. There was a group there. There was a guy who was acting as soldiers. The next group going to be in charge of building wapits. All right, corporate manager. Hey, Pop Tart, fancy coming in my toaster of love? Oh man, just don't tell anybody I'm seeing you. I'm gonna have some plans later tonight. heat in the 30s. This is, uh, I don't know that we're talking um, Celsius here. Perfect for winter. Did get downright cold here, especially considering it's the south. Hunter Ross is ready to fight for the liberal cause. He knows some stuff. Why don't you come on in? Barry Boyd has a hot date with Pat Malik. It's a corporate manager of Juliana Cosmetics. Oh boy. Let's uh, try to get through the evening without spending a penny. Talking with Pat Malik actually curses Valerie Boyd's mind with wisdom. That's another thing that can happen. Now our wisdom is three. Our heart's still 15, though, so everything's largely okay. Right. Group Hey Hot Stuff. Let's uh, put Leonard in. He's ready to play today. You know it. Woo woo woo. He knows a little bit about writing. What do you know? He's going to start knowing a little bit more about security, stealth, all that kind of stuff here fairly soon. First, I need to hunt down that person and kill them for spreading vile heresy. You would think. Number 
barista. Hey, better in soda pub. Been a while since I've seen you. Certainly in a uh, certainly in a stream capacity. I don't know when the last time that was. Valerie, talk to this corporate manager. I may not be Fred Flintstone, but I can make your bedrock. You want to hook up? Yeah. Nothing's happening. Why are you looking at us suspiciously? Grabums. 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 We did nothing. Major security has gone up. The disguise needs just that tiny bit more work. And now you've got it. Logan Yurkovic, corporate manager at Young Cosmetics. This relationship's over. Security guard. I mean, you can tell that things are broadly going well for the squad just by virtue of the fact that uh, most of the people that we're uh, running across are liberals or neutral. Talk to this corporate manager who is a woman in her 50s. I said you had a nice body, would you hold it against me? Yeah, and you're going to repay me tonight. Alright. So far, just walking around, busting open doors, not finding anything. Valerie Boyd has maxed out another point of seduction, though, so there's that. Okay, you've gained security out of this. Still haven't found anything... There we go. Just act natural, everybody. Be cool. We're meant to be here. Do you know any da or any stealth yet? You know the smallest amount of stealth. You guys are probably not going to learn any stealth. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys do not appear to be learning stealth. That's okay. Valerie Boyd has a hot date with Fatima Shawcross. Or Fatima. She knows how to handle a knife. But Ms. Shawcross is quite taken with Valerie Boyd's unique life philosophy. They'll meet again tomorrow. See, and that gets her a little bit of extra seduction points, too. I didn't think that uh, Valerie Boyd was going to become one of our uh, big... Uh, big wheels in this uh, whole game. Uh, I still wouldn't want to put her into a full-on action squad. I mean, this sort of, like, nickel and diamond breaking into apartment stuff is not so bad. But... Yeah, you obviously have a real limit here with your charisma score. I'm going to need to juice you up some. Leonard Ross started with enough juice that he's already able to recruit people. It's not too persuasive, so uh it might not go well if he tried, but... Let's go to the Williams Condominiums. Let's move things up a notch. See how that works out. Valerie, right, talk to this corporate manager. You smell. Let's go take a shower. Don't you like it dirty? I can have some plans later. And nothing else sort of immediately. Your disguise is already up. What about your security? Your security is also already up. Doesn't take very much to level you guys. Alright. Zachary McLaughlin is a corporate manager at the AM radio station. Gonna go ahead and try to get through the evening without spending a penny. Ooh, ooh la la. I'll go ahead and uh, do this again. They'll meet again tomorrow. Go once again downtown to the condominiums. Have everybody basically go through Security in Disguise Boot Camp. Alright. Unlocked a lot of doors. Down, down to Gondo Town. Already have some more security. We fooled an actor. That is acting. Luna, you are the one that we really need to get some juice to because, uh, Right now, your disguise skill is, uh, it ain't good. Your 
ready to fight for the liberal cause? Cool. You have dates. Let's uh, be cheap. Be cheap again. Let's see. This is okay. Yeah, this is this is helping boost her seduction skill. Slowly but surely. I mean, instead of now doing the job of taking, uh, going to the school and ordering drinks, she's now just seducing dudes. Which you know, hey, sure. And ladies, actually, she's seducing ladies as well. Okay. There are some things to be found here. Grab some silverware. Grab a smartphone. Now your disguise is a max. Forrest is not because he's so darn charismatic. Hot dates to manage. All right, your heart and wisdom are not. I believe when they they become a conservative love slave, when you manage to flip their heart and wisdom scores to where the heart is higher than wisdom, um, and you will see that we have been slowly dropping the wisdom score and increasing the heart score. Anyways, warming that frozen conservative heart. Uh-oh. I mean, uh-oh. But, uh, the team of Shawcross is Valerie Boyd's totally unconditional love slave. Self-nullifying infatuation of Fatima Shawcross. What name will you use for this corporate manager in its presence? We do not use anything. The real name will be used. That's fine. Stay at Giuliani Cosmetics as a sleeper agent. Okay. Just goes to show, you gotta be careful. Let's equip this squad and get them going someplace slightly different. First of all, I like you guys all walking around with magnums. I know, I wasn't expecting that to uh, happen. I didn't want this corporate manager to be hanging off of me. Alright, security uniform. Now then, let's go to the university district. Let's go to this cosmetics place. Oh, this is the genetics place. Well, shoot. Also, our security uniforms do not work here. Well, all right, Zach, before you become a love slave, 
Oh yeah, no, it's it's the best way. Let's see, May 23rd, we're down to 20 grand. I meant to go to Giuliani Cosmetics. Look at this lovely map of the place we have. Thanks to our unconditional love slave. These security uniforms are not a match. I figured security uniforms would be a thing. Well, fine. I won't stay long. People are panicked. Let's get out. Elsia strikes the notorious Giuliani Cosmetics conservative animal rights abuser. Liberated enemy resources. Liberated abused animals that pick rocks. Oh yeah, the heat's getting nice and nice and chilly now. I like that. Let's uh, let's try that again. Giuliani Cosmetics. And this time we will equip the scout the the squad, equip the squad with lab coats. Let's not free the ca the caged animals while there are security guards and people here. Let's not do it. There we go. Now you're gonna start juicing up. Oh, look at that! You got more charisma already. You're wanted for vandalism. Luna Sword has become a hardened criminal. Yes, this is the way down to more cages to free animals. Oh, these animals left behind some lab equipment for us. Thank you, animals. This is the way things need to go. Okay, there are more cages up here. No animal left behind. All right, everybody, saving these animals from cruelty. <coughs> Get that lab equipment. Not do anything around the lab tech. <coughs> Goodness. Gracious, I apologize. Let's unlock more cages. Hmm. Let's take a swig of water because, wow. Unlock more cages. Get more equipment. Gear up, everybody. Steal whatever this is. A laptop. A quick hundred bucks. I'm 
more lab equipment. Wander out of the way of those people. More laptops. Use them or lose them. Thank you for the laptop, fluffy bunnies. Is there anything over there? No. Let's just grab these laptops. And there you go. Luna has a hundred juice now. So we managed to gain uh, two levels of juice for our noobs. Leonard Ross is no longer looking as effective. Yeah, you guys did a great job. Look at you. Proud of you guys. LCS strikes. So now I'm gaining yet another party of super cool elite uh, fighting dudes. Um, and uh, still no closer to gaining the location of the conservative crime squad. Which is uh, unfortunate. Let's go for it to stop evil one more time at the. I'm gonna go to the morning wonder latte stand, and it seems silly to have everybody, but I don't feel like uh, changing up the crew. Let's talk to this hillbilly. Valerie, talk to this hillbilly. And a country boy. Valerie, talk to this country boy. Are you Jamaican? Because Jamaican be horny. Let me invite you to my island paradise tonight. And they make plans. Does anybody else have any modicum of seduction? You clearly know all about it. Boris McLaughlin has some seduction skill. I might want to let him try and take a uh, Try and take somebody home. Hey, Kaz. Um, right now we're trying to take a break from the crime and getting into seduction. Um, we'll see how it goes. Let's talk to this hillbilly and drop a pickup line. Let's play squirrel. I'll bust a nut in your hole. Winter's coming. You better bust more than one. All right, you are ready to fight for the liberal cause. That's cool. Boris McLaughlin has a hot date with Rudolf Shurin. He's a vigilante at the Desert Eagle Bar and Grill. He's got a high wisdom score and some amount of heart. I'm beginning to think that my own voice may be triggering the uh, baby monitor. Let's spend a hundred bucks to get the ball rolling. Talking with Rudolf Schurin curses Forrest McLaughlin's mind with wisdom. No! You got dates to manage with Fidel Redwine and Jim Carberry. You are also a vigilante of the Deagle. Look at that wisdom and heart, though. I don't think this is going to happen. You are also a vigilante a little bit easier to deal with. Am I eventually just going to have to kidnap one of these folks? I don't know. I'm 
let's go back to the University District. Giuliani Cosmetics has high security, so they also have a lot of stuff. One ten. Is this still doing anything for you? No. The uh, vandalism seems to not be doing anything more. What about the theft? One eleven. Okay, so. We can still free the rabbits because it's the right thing to do. And in theory, it's probably advancing the cause of animal rights. But the uh, big thing that we're doing here now is just getting stuff for Jews. This no longer even challenges their security skill. Nice try. Research papers. Hooray. We got something. Yeah, the security guards uh, weren't there when we first uh, unlocked the cage. Then we went back because we saw that the uh, rabbits had left treasure for us. And they were lying in wait. <clears throat> Whew. Don't want to put the secretary in the position of seeing us commit a crime and uh, feel like she has to do something about it. There are good people that work in bad places. It's okay. You can uh, argue the uh, morality of uh, you can argue the morality of it, but uh, I'm gonna say it is possible to be a good human being have a bad employer, depending on the rest of the circumstances of your life. That poor secretary might just be trying to feed her family. Alright, so, did everybody level up in security? Luna did not, because I'm guessing this is... Yeah, like nine is as good a security as you're really going to find in here. Witnesses reported hearing the phrase, destroy mass media. That's right. You liberated all those animals. Alright, heat's down to 23%. Case in point, you used to work in the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. I know somebody used to work in the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Not even through a contractor. She just worked for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. One of the nicest people. One of the nicest people. We have had a best hour ever of AM radio. I don't remember that we have gone into the cable news uh, station and uh, gotten that situation going just yet. Right now, we sort of have 
We have another squad. They're all very well kitted out in terms of their abilities, but uh, right now I have them trying to do other stuff. Also, they're trying to lie low because of all the uh, crimes they committed. So there was that. What is your rifle skill? Your rival skill is kind of trash. Still better than your pistol skill, though, so good. Captured to laugh. Your rival skill is even more trash. Who's wanted for the most murders? Brian Simpson is wanted for the most murders. Well, BoboSpoliticalWebsite.com, which is a conservative, uh, what do they call those shitholes? Uh, like those countries. Um, back when it was a printed publication, pretty much all of the print designers were, uh, were sort of on the left end of the spectrum. They certainly weren't believing most of the stuff they were putting down onto paper. Hmm. Oh no, little Bronco. You gotta go back to sleep, buddy. He coughed himself awake. He needs to settle back down. I will see whether or not he will go back down. I may have to uh, at least temporarily stop the stream. I'm going to see what everybody else was doing right now. Right, Lori was teaching everybody all about stealth and whatnot. Larissa Montana was keeping everything cool by volunteering. All right. No, not this squad. The other squad. Valerie Boyd squad. Put you guys in some cheap suits and cheap dresses. And now maybe some cheat suits. There we go. Also vehicles. Why are you guys walking alongside instead of actually being in the van or in the wagon? Okay, now let's go forth to the outskirts. To the corporate headquarters. There we go. Let's act natural. We found a smartphone. Let's uh, make sure not to commit any crimes. Uh, no. In the presence of anybody. Let's also just not commit any very serious crimes. Don't want anybody thinking that we're really bad people. We're good people. 
people that do bad things because of circumstances. There was a uh, prostitute there, wasn't there? They got hookers hanging out in here, folks. Well, here's the safe. Let's open it. Valerie cracked the safe. It has interesting files. They are now wanted for theft. Even though we did so much other thieving. That one count is the first time they're like, oh, oh, you stole something too. Whoops. Yeah, plenty of liberal crimes. Got liberal crimes up the yin yang. Stay natural, everybody. Stay just like Dustin Rhodes. You know, they call him the natural. Or they call him American Nightmare now, I don't know. Or is uh, Cody the American Nightmare? Dustin was the American Nightmare for a while in uh, WCW. I think. I don't know, man. Going off of memory. Memory's fuzzy. There you go, everybody. Did you learn anything? You didn't. You will have maxed out your disguise. Congratulations. LCS hits corp. Now then, did that do anything in terms of making things hotter here. No, I don't really care if we uh, do things like that, apparently. They just care if we start murdering people. If we start murdering people, our heat goes up. Murder, murder, murder. Murdering people. Do we have anyone who is good at well here? Let's take a look at Valerie. Your seduction is seven point four five, which is good. Apparently it's not quite enough to melt the hearts of just anybody. Let's go forth one more time to the Morning Wonder Latte stand with this whole crowd. Talk to Biker Taker here. They're going to try different positions together. Letter Bros, why don't you talk to this army veteran, man to man, about politics? 
you want to hear something disturbing? No. Well, okay then. I'm curious enough to try and seduce this agent. Um, Forrest, do you want to talk to this yoga instructor about politics? No. I should have talked to that uh, athlete, but it's okay. All right, country boy. Talk. Valerie, talk to this country boy. Drop a pickup line on him. Excuse me, do you want to fuck or should I apologize? You can apologize later if it isn't any good. Let's make some plans. Bibby. Here's another biker. Let's let Forrest have a chance at this biker. Hi, I suffer from amnesia. Do I come here often? Yeah, I hope you remember the lube this time. I make plans for later. Forrest has a hot date with Benjamin Inking. He's just a regular biker from the University District. Let's try and get through the date on the cheap. Nope. Has dates to manage with Henrik Tetley, Constantine Fitzgerald, and Larry Ness. I forgot the number of dates I had scheduled. You are a vigilante at the Desert Eager Ball and Desert Eager Ball and Grill. Alright. Let's try to spend a hundred bucks. The date starts well but goes horribly wrong when Larry Ness notices Valerie Boyd's schedule for keeping him from beating Fatima Shawcross. Oh no. An agent at Intelligence HQ. Curses Valerie Boyd's mind with wisdom. Yeah, I was concerned about that. You're just a regular biker, whatever. All right. That's uh, that's unfortunate. All right, it's May 29th. So 30 days have September, April, June, and November. So there are a couple more days left in the month. Let's go for it to stop evil. This time, let's go downtown to the AM radio station. How charismatic are any of these guys? Valerie is relatively persuasive. Has some good charisma. Now let's try it. Squad takes control of the microphone and debates privacy law. They put on a good show. Security is waiting for the squad after the show. No. Wait a second, what if we talk? 
Valerie has a high bluff score. This is too many security guards for us to be taking on. Also, I didn't want bloodshed here. Let's talk to the security guard. Let's bluff. Valerie Boyd talks like a conservative and pretends to belong here. Enemy is fooled into parts. Cool. Did you uh, gain some persuasion from doing that? I don't know. Valerie Boyd has a hot date with Henrik Tetley. We'll meet again tomorrow. All right, tomorrow I think I need to uh, cut it off with that guy. Let's go forth. Uh, hmm. Why don't we go this time? Ah, eh, we'll go again. This time we'll try and steal some stuff to make it worthwhile. We're cool guys. We're cool guys. That's how we do it. This is actually how we do it. Do, 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 do. Like Howie Kendrick. Alright, guys, let's um, move on in here. Tablets, smartphones. You know, your usual sorts of things. We just wander through here like we belong. Everything should go that much smoother, right? Totally have the hang of the place. It'll be fine. Get some phones. Get some microphones. Get some smartphones. It's all about the phones here, folks. Alrighty. Let's take over the programming. We're going to discuss prisoner abuse and torture. We put on a good show, but security was waiting for us afterwards. Oh man, but I'm even better at bluffing now. Valerie. That's so many security guards. Let's talk to the security guard in his 20s. Bluff. Yeah, we're totally cool, guys. Don't worry about us. Valerie, bluff him some more. His radio personality, he is going to be especially stupid. Ha ha ha. Take that, radio personality. Yeah, that does help your persuasion. And your seduction skill is doing nicely as well. We have a hot date. I'm gonna break this off before you become our love slave because uh don't really have any use for you. 
Now that is 34th, let us go shopping. Let's go to the pawn shop. That's what was happening there, folks. Let's sell things. Sell things selectively. Got a lot of M16s, got a lot of night sticks, got a lot of body armor. How much is one suit of body armor worth to you? 250? Yeah, you know what, I'll keep it. I get into a situation where I uh, can't uh, use use it, or where I desperately need money, I'll know who to talk to. Let's see, uh, kitschy trinkets, so cheap jewelry, sure. Kitschy trinkets, a couple of those. All the lab equipment. These laptops, that ought to get me in some good stead. Some mics. That stuff. 19 smartphones. 11 tablets. And a weird chemical. That's all I'm going to do. Ready to fight for the liberal cause? Great. Let's run a special edition on those corporate files that we got. The Liberal Guardian runs a story featuring corporate files describing a genetic monster created in the lab. That's right. The Liberal Guardian is running a profile on Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner, the genetic freak. The major networks and publications take it up and run it for weeks. We didn't know that he managed that he owned a Shoney's. Wow! This is bound to get the corporations a little riled up. The Supreme Court is handing down decisions, a decision that could fight income inequality or fight homophobic bigotry in our laws. Yeah, the uh, Supreme Court has not had its makeup changed significantly. Oh no, Harriet Chen, the liberal, is stepping down. Press any key to see what happens. After much debate and televised testimony, a new justice, Polina Koklinski, a conservative, is appointed to the bench. Congress is acting on legislation. Stop those executions. They decided they don't want to. Okay. Well, we had a couple of months of liberal criming here, um, but... Uh, my little guy is having a rough time right now, so I might try and go check on him. Um, my little baby Bronco is uh, having a rough night's sleep, it looks like. So, um, since we're at the end of the month and we've been at this for a couple hours, I feel like it's uh, safe enough to be able to say that's good for one night. Um, Ordinarily, I might come back even later after this, but eh, it's almost 11. We're pretty good. Anyhow, folks, i um, going to say good night to YouTube. Everybody have a good night on YouTube land. I appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you all for uh, thanking me. Thanks to everybody for showing up to the stream. I was hoping to do a little bit more exciting, um, but uh, initially, well, no, I actually... For uh, the future people on YouTube, so we'll actually just say goodnight to YouTube. Good night, YouTube.